So hello everyone. So in this video, I'll be showing you the menu system of the HD Zero goggles, as well as some uh, just to be familiar with how the menu system uh, actually looks like. So if you're interested in HD Zero, this is basically the screen of the system. Okay, so on your left side is all of the menu this part and whatever is uh, whatever menu you chose will be shown on the right part okay so scan now would be the first one so the moment you turn on your device it will scan the different bandwidth from R1 to R8 and from F2 and F4 so if it doesn't see anything it just it will just stay as it is now you can change your source from the different sources of these goggles. This is why it's really a Swiss Army knife of FPV, uh, the FPV hobby. So you can go directly from our HD zero. You can also choose HDMI in. Uh, so it, this is for the VRX if you're using one. You also got AV in. Your uh, analog would be shown here, the expansion module. So if you are, if you use do, if you do use an expansion module, you can also choose between NTSC and PAL. Okay. Uh, so if ever you need to change your, uh, if you want to change from dif different types of sources, you just need to uh, move your. Uh, Sw uh, your switch here and then click whatever you like okay so for now you just turn you go back you can change your settings for your uh, screen you can adjust the OLED the brightness the saturation the contrast and yeah if you want to turn off OLED but me I just put it at three minutes and uh, yeah if you want to uh, change your embedded OSD you can adjust here uh, you can uh, Oops. Okay, I pressed the wrong button. Uh, let's turn back. <laughs> okay. So, you can actually change. Mm. Why have I pressed the wrong button again? Okay. Uh, you can change your OSD mode uh, from 16 by 9 to 4 by 3. Okay. So, if you're using 4 by 3, better to use this one. Okay. And let's turn back. Okay. Uh, next would be the power source. Uh, so you could change your uh, battery sources here. You can, uh, of course, I'm using 2S now, so it will detect it. Uh, you can put it in auto for the cell count mode. Okay. Cell voltage also. Display mode for uh, the the one on the rightmost part if you want it as an average or the total so uh, if you're like me I like it uh, in total so I uh, in average so that I can uh, easily gauge the battery left okay you have some warning type either beep or visual I put both for this okay now for analog if you're using the analog module here is a switch a soft switch so that you could turn on the power going to the expansion module so sometimes if you newly both uh, the the expansion module it doesn't work out of the box because of this uh, button here so just turn it on so that the power would go directly to the expansion module okay now the for the fans uh, usually it's turned on for auto control but I noticed that since this uh, summer uh, I always go overheat and even though it's in auto control so I you should I turned it off so that the side fans would be more um, powerful than the top fan uh, because it's really really hot here in the Philippines okay back let's go with the record options okay with this one you can uh, as i do it i turned it in auto mode then the record format is in ts uh it's a uh, uh you know, in my use case mp4 is really uh quick to use 
So if you are editing your videos uh, on the fly, MP4 would be the best option for you. But I noticed that I, I easily lose my uh, my videos the moment I I unfortunately turned off the goggles. So sometimes some of my footage is really gone. But if you use the TS, uh, you can actually uh, get the files even though. Uh, there is a loss in signal. You turned off your goggles, so you can actually use this directly to Premiere Pro. Uh, it uh, it actually uh, recognize the TS format. The OSD, uh, I turned it off for now, uh, but usually I turned it in yes. Um, yeah, it's preference. Uh, record audio, yes, I do. Uh, here I chose uh, usually the line in. I used a separate microphone for this one but uh, since I'm also recording directly to the action cam I put it in mic so that I just can sync that uh, audio uh, in post in Premiere Pro okay in auto scan you can choose here uh, unfortunately it's not uh, working for me um, for the HDMI in because right now I'm using the VRX of Walk Snail but it doesn't automatically turn on uh, for me, uh, but if I put HD zero, it do um, start in scan mode for HD zero. Um, also for the expansion uh, for analog, it works well as well. Mm, I can actually directly go to the expansion module uh, the moment I turned on this uh, system. Okay, connections. Uh, this one is if you, uh, if you use backpack the LRS backpack this is one for you but I don't use this so I usually skip this part head tracker I don't use head tracker so if you do mm, this there's an option for you for playback uh, usually if I got the micro SD here there are some uh, files here that you can view for your videos this is the most important part of this uh, menu the firmware uh, you have uh, your current version will be shown here. Oops. That is the current version that I have. I downgraded from the beta firmware of 9.0. I think 27. Uh, so I, do, I, I, do, I downgraded to 9.0.12. Um, also, here you go for the. Uh, the reason I don't have the. <laughs> the. Uh, updated the uh, file for the, uh, the for the uh, VTX so um, the menu that is show being shown in the the goggles and the VTX is not in sync so I have to downgrade uh, <laughs> I think the beta firmware is only for the the goggles and the analog so I downgraded so if you want to update your VTX, you do it here. You just press this uh, button here. You update the goggles, and it's, and if you want to update the ESP32, I'm not. I haven't done that, so I just use the VTX and the goggles. Okay, let's go back. The focus chart, I'm not sure, but it's for, <laughs> but it is there. Now for the clock, um, unfortunately, there is no way to uh, adjust this and. Uh, because there is no real-time clock inside of these goggles so yeah you just have to live with this uh, settings for the clock okay I'll show you how it looks like with uh, the HD zero uh, drone turned on uh, I'll try to turn off the goggles so that you would see how it looks like when it is on okay. yeah let's turn this off does it work okay you'll be seeing that rainbow screen there okay i will turn on the drone uh, first so that um you will know that this is already on and the goggles will try to search for it once we are on okay i placed the power supply now let's see so uh, 
usually in this portion of the goggles you will see an HD0 image I believe you can uh, change that to your settings okay I didn't ha turn on the scan mode okay usually it will scan <laughs> okay so it is it is seen by the goggles so this is uh, the footage directly from the HD0 uh, drone the mobile light uh, 7 so this is what it looks like it's in 4x3 aspect ratio you can change this to 16x9 but there would be some uh, vignetting because the lens used is really for 4x3 uh, also um, you have uh, your menu system here on the sides uh, you can adjust this depending on your beta flight uh, settings so uh, this is what it looks like uh, for me uh, this is way diff this is better compared to analog uh, the system the the whole s screen uh, see it's in real time there's no latency here uh, it's really good okay uh, but if you want a good quality video, either go Walksnell or go you go DJI. Okay, so basically that's it. Let's turn back to the menu system of HD Zero goggles. So this is the menu system of the HD Zero. Uh, we are back. You can adjust. Uh, mm, no, you cannot. Uh, <laughs> what I mean is, you can see all of the. Uh, settings on the top uh, you can see here your, if you have your micro SD card uh, this one is whatever uh, chip you are using the HD0 the HDMI uh, the analog you can see it here uh, if you got an ELRS backpack you get this here you get this shown on the third one if you also got the Wi-Fi uh, expansion you get this here and the battery is on the last part so yeah this is the menu system of hd zero goggles and hopefully um this will help you uh if in case you really want to go the hd zero system okay as always see you on the next video we will end it now bye